Hi, I'm continuing on on my uh, entrepreneur series, and I was going back through, I film them on my photo booth, and then I upload them to YouTube, and I was going through to look at the content, so I, I'm going to try, it's going to be repetitive, I mean that's the learning method, but I want to uh, keep the relevant points uh, repetitive. And uh, I kind of casually said, do what you want to do. <laughs> And uh, my daughter Naomi let me listen to a video the other day, and it was about a man and said, you know, life is too short, and it is. I'm 59, uh, and life has gone by pretty quickly, and I've done a lot of what I wanted to do this lifetime. But I know a lot of people are doing a lot of things that they don't want to do, and they're trying to see, one, what do you want to do? In my seminars, that's one of my relevant questions, or irrelevant questions, and you have to sit within the paradox of that, but... But what do you want becomes uh, a relevant thing. What do you want to do? And if you've chosen an entrepreneurial endeavor, and you look and thought, eh, this isn't exactly what I want, but I'm going to do it, then you're going to have to look at what Durop says. Uh, Durop is a, was the author of The Master Game. He said, if you find your master game, that game, which when you're playing it, you go to higher states of awareness, things make sense, you have fun, you're enlivened, uh, play that game as if your life depends upon it, because it does. He said, if you haven't found your master game, if you become an entrepreneur and you're playing a game that is a game that you enjoy, but it's not your essence, play that game as if your life depends upon it, because it does. Uh, the motivation for this series is a lot of entrepreneurs and a lot of people in life in general are taking life, I think, far too seriously. And if you're going to do that and you're going to do it in your profession for a lot of hours a week, I think it's going to take its toll. And I don't think that you're going to end up as fulfilled and happy and satisfied as you want to be. Uh, but the point is, how do you find out what you want to do? Uh, some people are artists, some people are not. Some people uh, do not have the entrepreneurial spirit and they don't want to have the entrepreneurial spirit. But what I've said in the past, find somebody whose entrepreneurial game you really like and can support uh, and, and work with them. See if you can make their game bigger. Uh, just as an example, a few years ago, quite a few years ago when I was in practice, uh, one of the practice managers, manager guys said, you know, behind your front desk, put somebody that loves you and loves money. And uh, Marge Harris was her name at the time. She was a patient. She came in one day. She was heading towards retirement, didn't know what she wanted to do, knew she wanted to do something uh, part-time. And the practice manager said, how you will know that somebody loves you or loves what you do is you will look around and you will see that their entire family is there. And Marge's husband, brother-in-law, kids, grandkids, were all patients of mine because she had a good result with what I did with chiropractic kinesiology. And I looked and I thought, holy cow, this woman loves me. And Marge was always decked out. She dressed well. She liked money. And so I asked her, do you want to work for me? Because I knew that having her behind my front desk, somebody that referred that many people and loved me that much, could only enhance my business. Now, at that time, March and her husband were going into real estate, so they had the entrepreneurial spirit. <coughs> Excuse me. But they were going, they were making a transition. So in the transition, she knew that she wanted to work part-time and knew that it would be fun to work for me. So as the entrepreneur, look for people that, want to work with you, have fun with them, and demand that they see that you have fun. www.micpeakperformance.com